All right, you guys. So we're back here with the truck again. And uh, on this truck, we're actually working on that four link now. So we've been really focusing on the angles and trying to get everything as perfect as we can. And so we'd like to show you what we got. All right, you guys. So we're still keeping the center line here. I just want to review from the previous video. Uh, we used a plumb bob to use, get square from here. And then we used the center line of the axle to match that. Also, while we were uh, setting this thing up, getting everything all tacked up, we made sure that all these threads were the same length and the overall length of the bars were the same. That's really crucial so that way whenever you set everything up, they're all square and even and uh, you're getting everything tacked into the same places. Uh, definitely something you don't wanna miss. So I was having a hell of a time finding just direct information that would tell me exactly what needed to be done. So. One guy would tell me to do level to each other, this bar and the bottom bar. The next guy would say, uh, do this angle down towards the front of the truck. And so what uh, what we got was, we set these bar top bars, we're looking about uh, 17 degrees. And then, uh, same thing with the bottom one, they suggested to go with level. And so when, since we're gonna be riding slightly higher than this, uh, we set it at three degrees. And so we expect a one inch rise here which would then give us zero degrees on the bottom. All right, you guys. So as you can see, we cut a couple holes in the frame. And so with those holes, we're making space for the nuts that are gonna be flush and in, inside the frame. And that way we can thread our bolt in here and have the nut on the back. Now, another thing to keep an eye on is this uh, pinion angle. There's basically three things I was reading off of uh, Ride Tech, off their setups and uh, they said the three angles would be this one, the bottom bar, the pinion angle, and then this top bar. So uh, we set this, it pretty much is at zero for now, but I may adjust it to match the pinion angle that's off of my uh, drive line. Maybe bring this up a little bit. Uh, we'll see how it handles, feel how the vibration is, if there is any, and we'll definitely get back to you guys on that. So definitely something to keep an eye out there. Another angle you really want to keep an eye out is going to be the angle from here to here. And so on this one, we set it right around, it's 30 degrees. And so they say minimum is 30 and most guys they'll put them right around 40, but anywhere within that should be fine. Won't give you any side to side shift and uh, you should be good to go. Just gonna jump in here and kind of talk about what we did to make it uh, so that way this wasn't hanging so low to the ground. I, I really don't want anything hanging below the car cause I don't want to take it off well, you know, while we're doing drifting or anything else. And so what we did is we drilled some holes in the frame. And with that, we were able to countersink those nuts into the frame. So we cut some holes, you can see one here, and we were able to then slide everything together really, really nice, keeping it slick and clean. All right, you guys. So uh, we know that these bolts are gonna be going into the frame. And so what we have to do is weld the nut onto the back of the bracket. So that way when it's flush against the frame, it won't, block us from lock. All right, you guys. So once you get to this point and everything's all tacked up, I would definitely suggest running it through its travel so that way you can see if anything gets bound up or has any issues. Well, there you have it. We got the whole rear end all buttoned up now, looking great. And so next is gonna be the front end. Well, if you guys wanna check out some of our other videos and content, go ahead and go to our Instagram at fatboys underscore garage. And don't forget to like and subscribe.